You both competing in the same competition over the weekend? Uh, yesterday we were both in the Pre St George, so we had three horses in the Pre St George today. So that's today. Yeah. Um, I had a stallion, Solid Leaves, and a mare, Rosetta, and I was very happy with both of their performances. So I, I for two for two really for me. And I had uh, a mare. Avonstone and uh, I was very happy with her today so they were all well behaved and was good. Tomorrow I've got the Tomorrow Grand Prix with Diamond Star. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. And I've got the Intermediate one okay. um, with Solo and Rosetta again. You've got two Tomorrow I've got and one we're tomorrow. outside, yeah. And so how is it competing mother and daughter together? Oh, we don't, I don't really think of it very much, no. like, no, it's we, mother and daughter. Um, we just hope each other does well. I think we're both very competitive and we're both also very rewarding of each other when we do well. So, um, you know, there might be a little bit of an in-house competition sometimes. Well, just as a joke. As a bit of a joke, but I think we, we both realise when we do a good job and maybe when we could have done better and we, we support each other, yeah. just as, I don't know, competitors would. Yeah. And so, of course, your mum's always been a professional rider. When when did you decide to make you know the same choices? Do you feel there's been a moment that was um, made, really made a difference, or not really? Um, you know, you grow up with it. Um, you grow up with it, and you it's what you know. Um, it comes easy because you know you're surrounded by it. I gave up riding through high school, and. My parents chose to send me when I was 18 to Germany, I think as a bit of a tune-up. And um, I worked really hard, I rode amazing horses, and, and ever since that year, um, abroad, uh, I've come back home and I've been immersed in horses, so through riding schools, um, and I worked for Malawa Ravenstad for seven years, and I've, I've come back home because it's, it's there, it's always there, and I've been there now three years. So I've always just, you know, it was on the cards to do it. It was going to happen. And dressage seemed obvious rather than another discipline for yeah. them. Oh, you wanted to do eventing. I really, I she really wanted to do eventing. Yeah. Um, and my parents were really good at not making that happen. Were you afraid of what could oh, happen? I just, didn't, I just didn't, we've got a, a five-acre property and it's so set up for dressage that for eventing, there was, <laughs> good excuse, yeah. there was really nowhere to do no it. jumps. Yeah. Do it to really do it. So that made it a bit awkward. So I mean, Daniel had tried putting jumps up on the bank of the outside arena and, and all that sort of thing. I, I did try hard. It just I wanted a thoroughbred. I got a quarter horse. <laughs> I wanted a jumping saddle. I got a big bucket seat thing that just launched me every time I did jump. The quarter horse couldn't jump. No, I, that was the I end was of it. Really. I, they, when people said that it jumps, but it didn't <laughs> jump. But, but at any rate, the dream generally. was killed. Yeah. yeah, but she loved events. Loved and I, events. I did later go out an event um, for five years. Um, I finished eventing in 2010, um, and I, I rode up to One Star. That was when you were working at Malawa. when I was working at Malawa. Mm. So I, I did get to live a little bit my dream. It was more of a release from dressage. So. And do you are you thinking of maybe going back to Europe, maybe to compete or? What are your plans? I Daniela should, I'd like her to go back. Um, I really think that it would be nice. I think she should go back. I think she should go back while she has not so much responsibility and all of those things. But, you know, she's got two dogs now and I don't know, it's, it's, it is hard. I'd, I'd like to go back. Um, I'd like to go back before I am too old and I have, again, too much responsibility. Um, but logistically at the moment it's probably not easy um, to do that and I hate the cold so um, I suppose when the stars are in alignment and it's um, at that time I'll we'll, yeah, we'll talk I about it should, it's possibility it would be nice mm -hmm. was, you know I enjoyed it when she was there last time she was there for nearly a year and I think it'd be really good if she could do it okay just freshen her up a bit you know <laughs> We all get a bit stale. And what are your plans for the year coming ahead? Anything special? No, we just keep churning them out and keep doing our job and taking along, taking along. And it's every day is a routine. And yeah. you know, it's it's a it, we like it, but um, it is a routine. Um, yeah, 
time the same horses come and go in our job, you know, some are permanent, some aren't, um, get some good ones. Um, so, 2017, Solo Feliz will turn eight, because um, he's really quite young. And, um, you know, we're doing the start, he's, he's trained along the lines really easily, and he's taken it all in his stride. Um, which is why he's at small tour now at seven. Um, so looking at next year, um, he's touching base at the moment with all of the Grand Prix movements. Um, so I think I'll, I won't aim to get him out of the start of year and, and hit him with it. Maybe mid year or, or three quarters of the way in. Uh, that's something that I'll be looking at. That he will maybe attempt his first big tour. Um, and I'm excited about the Snapple. Yeah, the snapple rule change. So good, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, some horses it will really suit. Some horses really suit the double, but it's nice to be able to have the what the horse prefers. And it's now. nice to start them in it, I think. Yeah. Maybe a year or two down the track in, but being in Grand Prix, you can pop them, then you get them into the double yeah, bridle. But I think it's nice to see young it. horses that becomes very yeah, sudden, I mean, like, you know, you're a young them, horse, yeah. now you have to grow up. So, so that would be good. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. That's okay, you're welcome. You're welcome.